Hello Sagittarius. Welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your January 2019 tarot reading for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon and Rising Sign. I hope you are Sagittarius. So here are the cards. There's generally four, but um, five dropped out. Um, general energies of the month. So we have the Five of Cups, the Four of Pentacles, the Chariot, the Nine of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. The Wheel of Fortune is the overriding energy of the month. Top two cards, we have the Six of Cups and the Ace of Cups representing love, romance and general relationships. And bottom two cards, we have the Eight of Wands and Nine of Wands for business and finances. I've also pulled um, an Angel Answer card, um, a card from um, the Angel and Ancestors Oracle deck, and also a couple of Romance Angel cards, just for further clarification. So let's um, start with uh, the Wheel of Fortune. So destiny is at play in January 2019, Sagittarius. And the Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favour. And when the Wheel of Fortune turns in your favour, it's a time to take advantage of opportunities, um, connections, be aware of what people say to you, messages that you might get, because they may all be karmic messages that the universe is trying to pass through to you through other individuals or other situations or opportunities. So, yeah, this is a really positive sign. It's a real card of... Um, it is connected with a lot of success, um, it's connected with love, it's connected with finances and happiness and security in the home. It is saying that as, as the wheel turns in your favour, to actually take advantage of good fortune while you can. So yeah, really positive card, Sagittarius, beautiful card. Um, now, I'm going to talk about, you've got two You've got two Ace of Cups in this reading. Powerful, powerful new beginnings, new starts. Can represent the birth of baby. Yeah, um, addition to the family, happiness in the home. But this talks about real happiness, real contentment, real emotional stability. And when you have emotional stability, Sagittarius, you project that internal stability on your external environment and things start turning in your favour because you see the positive side of life, the happier side of life, after maybe going through some difficulties and challenges to get to this point. Now, the interesting thing about the Ace of Cups as well, it has five streams running off the cup, the cups um, overflowing with happiness, um, emotional stability, uh, emotional contentment, satisfaction. Um, and you see these five streams, they represent the five senses, the sixth sense being your spiritual sense. So the five senses are kind of saying that you're becoming more aware of who you are you have an inner solidity now, yeah, an inner solidity, an inner resolve within yourself, a new self-belief. You feel that you've grown in terms of, you've grown inside, maybe from journeys of the past. And this is about becoming more aware with the senses. It is about learning lessons of the past to make you a stronger, bigger, more aware person in the future and a more perceptive person so that when you encounter negativity again when you encounter difficult people who try to rock you on, on the inside rock your inner emotional core they can't do that anymore Sagittarius because you've from lessons of the past you've become more solid more strong on the inside and um, more open to seeing and appreciating human frailty and also appreciating and forgiving your own frailties of the past and this has led to a new beginning and it's divinely given to you it's, it's a divine reward for all the lessons all the difficulties all the obstacles that you've had to overcome to get to this point but the universe is saying that you had to learn those lessons to appreciate happiness it's only when we go through dark times can we appreciate the light. So yeah, beautiful energies. 
and um, yeah, very, very positive. And certainly in this reading, it can also signify new love, um, but I will come back to that. So this is um, the Hermit and the Five of Pentacles. Sorry, not the Hermit, sorry. This is um, the Five of Cups. Um, and you see the cloak, he's dark, he's feeling down, this is a black mood. And yet there's kind of like, a, you know, uh, no interference in the sky, there's clear skies around him. There's a bridge here where he can go and get security. Um, but he's mourning the loss of three cups that have been spilt. But this person isn't seeing the two cups behind that are not spilt, that are still full. And it is about that awareness that I was talking to you about. It is about opening your mind and not dwelling on what's gone, not dwelling on what's lost, not dwelling on, um, it could be a job loss, it could be a loss in the family, it could be a loss, um, it could be a lost relationship, yeah, or, or you know, um, yeah, a lost relationship potentially as well. Um, but either way, this this says that you have, if you open your mind, open your, you'll see the positive side of life still exist. Life still goes on. Life still goes on. And it's reminding you that you still have opportunities and happiness to take advantage of. It's just you need to open your mind and not be so caught up and preoccupied with one thing that's gone. And if you do, I mean, this is a card of stability. It is. It can be saying that you're holding on to things too tight. Um, but I kind of think for this one, I'm, I'm just not getting that. I'm kind of thinking that you're beginning to find stability having lost something in the past. So you're beginning to build your foundation. You're beginning to ground yourself. You see how these, this person stands on two pentacles on the ground. And it's a grounding energy. And when I say that you've grown from lessons of the past, you see how big this person is in relation to the background. So it is about growing, learning lessons and creating your own stability, material security for the future and not allowing yourself to dwell on what's gone. But uh, looking forward now. And that's exactly what the chariot does. And this is... and. You know, this is absolutely a change of mindset. This is changing your mind to... This is deciding to move forward with purpose. Seeing your goal in sight once more. Yeah, you begin to... You start changing that mindset to have value in your life again and value your life, value people around you. And as soon as you do that, um, there's a release and there's forward movement in your life again. And you're in the driving seat of your own life again. And where you, yeah, you might have felt a bit stuck in this situation, a bit unstable, a bit rocked. This is you coming back with full force. Having that um, clarity of mind again. Having that um, power of the mind again to move past negative situations that just don't serve you anymore and finding more balance in life again. So moving forward with balance and purpose now to a goal, to your goal, to your destiny, to your ambitions, to your dreams, um, making your life better for the future. This is also a sign of victory, Sagittarius. It is a sign of real hard-earned victory um, after a time of, of difficulty because you see behind the chariot there is a whole there is a whole journey with lessons that you've learnt from the past obstacles that you've overcome that you've driven through to get to your goal and this is you coming through that time now and yeah when you do there's a real independence of mind about you. There's an independence of spirit. There's a self-sufficiency about you. Um, you become so much more self-aware 
from the journey that you've been on that you understand now and start believing in yourself and start make you see the pentacles around this person start creating your own abundance in life your own material wealth your own security your own stability so you're going from a four to a nine which is nearly nearly achieving your goals and this is what the wheel of fortune is saying is saying once you open up to the possibility that anything is possible in your life that your actions can positively change your life for the better that not giving in and not giving up and not remaining stuck but moving forward with purpose can literally and that change of mindset with the chariot as well can really open up new opportunities for you you get your new beginning you get your victory you start taking part in your destiny that the universe is offering to you he's offering it to you so love romance and general relationships we have the six of cups and the ace of cups so the six of cups um on a general level it can be um somebody from the past maybe a past love coming back and um, resurrecting um in the past for those of you who are single and um, for those of you who are in a relationship this can be um, past lessons, past lessons in love, almost guiding your thoughts for future happiness. So maybe when you meet somebody, or if you have met somebody, if you are in a relationship, you know that you won't make the same mistakes that you've made in the past, because your past experiences are shaping your future, your future happiness, your future goals your future new beginnings, a new phase of your life, a new, more happier, optimistic time. So yeah, as I say, I mean, it can have a number of meanings, but the cup's energy, this is a real card of harmony, of balance, of happiness. So as I say, yeah, I mean, it's very, very positive, um, whether you're single or or in a relationship, certainly the potential to meet, to meet new love this month as well. Now, the Wands energy, the Eight of Wands and the Nine of Wands. So the Nine of Wands is saying that you're nearly at your goal. And this person, they're tired. They may have been battle weary. You may have really had to push forward to grab hold of your opportunities. And you see all the opportunities around you. The Wands stand for opportunities. Um, can be communication. Can be... Um, potential as well so realizing your potential so potential is all around you this month and you're grabbing hold of an opportunity and you're defending it you're defending it and it's this perseverance this steadfastness that you have in january this inner inner belief in yourself that projects stability on your external world and gives you strength to persevere to achieve your goal as the chariot says yeah and the eight of wands it is all about connections this month and um, it can be connections coming messages coming into you could be new jobs new opportunities new advancements in the career um, new money uh, potentially new money opportunities and um, it could be through um, you know job promotions and so on and so forth um, and it's fast-moving energy so there's a release, there's a release from being stuck in this situation, certainly on the job front and career and money front. There's a release and you're making headway this month. You're making headway with real determination and conviction. And this is also a good news card. Yeah, it's a, it's a good news card. So maybe some good news is coming to you this month as well, Sagittarius on the job front. Maybe you get that job, that promotion, that opportunity that new business venture that you're looking at that new business partnership whatever it is is positive this is positive this is opportunity this is creativity this is ambition raw ambition um pushing forward and not allowing other people to distract you and take you off that path so 
So the first angel oracle card is Big Happy Changes. She's just beautiful. And then I've got um, an angel and ancestral oracle deck, which is beautiful. I love these messages. And it says, stand your ground. Yeah, stand your ground. Yeah, take advantage of opportunities, changing your life for the better. That's certainly what the universe has in store for you, Sagittarius, with the Wheel of Fortune. And the Romance Angel deck. I've got chemistry. There's a strong magnet magnetic attraction here. Well, there could be. Could be somebody from the past. Could be new love. This could be self-love as well, by the way, at Sagittarius. This could be real self-love, learning to love yourself um, after a time of, of difficulty, coming through it. And the last angel romance card is heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss feel your feelings with each other. So, yeah, I mean, that could be, you know, uh, there's a period of honesty here. Um, yeah, but as I say, I mean, it's a really positive reading. So I hope you enjoyed it. Please, if you enjoyed the reading, do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a great month and I will see you next time. Thank you.